How's it going everybody? Just wanted to do a quick walkthrough tour of this solar system we just completed on this Airstream Bambi. On this Airstream, we added 200 watts of solar, a 2000 watt inverter, and 200 amp hours of lithium batteries. So starting on the front, we upgraded the two lead acid batteries to one of these light blue 200 amp hour low temperature rated batteries. It fit perfect in the box that it came in here. And this is a low temperature battery, so it can be in the cold weather. And as long as it has some kind of charging going to it, the heaters will turn on automatically. So this worked perfect for this installation. Another cool feature these batteries have besides the automatic internal heaters is the internal battery monitor app. So you don't even need an external battery monitor app for this battery. So if you look here, you can see it'll tell you the state of charge. It'll tell you your voltage of your battery. It'll tell you your capacity of your battery, the status, if it's charging or discharging, or if it's on standby, the health. And if you click here at the top, you can see how much amps are going in and out of the battery. So if you can see the voltage here and you can see how much amps right now is charging, since we're on shore power, we're charging about 46 to 50 amps per hour. And then you can also see the internal temperature here of the battery is 41 degrees. And you can also keep track of how many cycles are on this battery. We also connected the existing ZAMP portable plug to the battery. So she can still use her portable ZAMP solar panel that she has to plug in for extra solar power. On the roof, we installed two of these ZAMP Obsidian low profile 100 watt solar panels. These work great for Airstreams because they're lightweight, low profile, and high performance. They work great and these are some of the best solar panels you can get for Airstreams right now. Moving on to the inside, we installed the digital control monitor for the inverter right here at the entrance, right next to the light switch. So this is the digital control monitor for the inverter versus the touchscreen monitor. This one's a little less expensive and a little less fancy, but it gets the job done. And you can tell when you're in inverter or charger mode and you can set your shore power limit here. As far as the inverter itself, we installed it here below this table because there was limited space in this Bambi here. So this was the best place we could fit it right here under the table out the way. This is the Victron Multi Plus 2000. It's an inverter and a lithium charger all in one unit. So we installed the solar controller here under this compartment where all the electrical is. This is where the solar free wire came into. So we just put the solar controller here where the free wire was. So sometimes you might forget how to use your system. So I decided to make this how to use your system 101 page. And this is going to kind of tell you how to use your inverter and when you need it on, off or in charger only. This Bambi has the 12 volt fridge, which is excellent for solar power. These don't take but maybe 15 to 20 amp hours overnight. So if you're trying to be off grid with all the electric fridge, make sure you get the 12 volt fridge and not the two way fridges. So we're gonna do a quick test here with the microwave on. And once we got it turned on, you can look at your Life Blue battery app and you can see how many amps we're pulling here, about 110 to 120 amps per hour so this battery is a 200 amp hour battery so we can run this microwave for probably a couple hours if you're curious how much power you'll get from a tow pin connection we got it plugged into the truck here and we got everything off on the inside and if you look at our life blue battery app again you see it says 4.4 4.3 so we're getting about four amps per hour through the tow pin connection, which is not much, but it's a small trickle charge. So now we're gonna test it on shore power and we got it plugged in here. And if you look at our light blue battery app one more time, you see we have 76, 72, 68. So that's about how much power the inverter is charging the batteries. So about 70 amps per hour. <music> 